Welcome back again, everyone. We are at our last official night of herps and studying herpetology, reptiles and amphibians. So it's our last night of amphibians and I have, I have a few amphibians to show you today. Um, and I figured, you know, let's start off with the song. What do you think? I think we've got it down now. I hear some of you know it too. And I figured let's start off with the song. I'll put my amphibian gear on and then we can do a short story, also kind of a sing-songy story. And we'll meet our friends for tonight, our visitors. All right, are you ready? Let's see. Amphibians have eyes on top, eyes on top, eyes on top. Amphibians have eyes on top and wet and slimy skin. Amphibians, they breathe through skin, breathe through skin, breathe through skin. Amphibians, they breathe through skin and go through metamorphosis. Yay! All right, we did it. Now, I had a few books and I, I had trouble picking, but I figured we'll go with a shorter book. Uh, it's kind of a fun book. Um, and maybe we can, even though we're moving on past the amphibians, these are great books. Maybe we can finish them another time as well. Um, but actually, before I show you these, there is something special I want to tell you about tomorrow. So when we come back tomorrow for our last night of the week together, we are going to be doing a little bit of a different good night. So we are going to go outside into the discovery garden and we are going to use a special application called iNaturalist. It's a really fun game that you can use on your phone um, or a grown-up's phone or even a computer. And it helps you take pictures of different animals or plants or fungus or anything that's outside and living. Uh, could be slime molds, they're one of my favorites, or moss. And anything you find and you want to learn more about, you take a picture of it and you learn more about what that animal or that plant or that organism is and you get to learn to identify it. And in doing so, you're going to help a really fun game, a really fun competition called City Nature Challenge. City Nature Challenge starts tomorrow and goes for four days through to Monday. And you can take as many pictures as you want. And the more pictures you take, the more it helps us all win the challenge. So we are going to be doing that outside in the garden tomorrow. We're going to be running around the garden. We're going to be snapping some pictures. I'm going to be bio blitzing my whole garden for the next four days and finding all of the great animals and plants that I can. So I invite you all tomorrow to join me with that. Um, so let's get back to the books. I couldn't decide tonight. We had a book about fabulous frogs. We had a book called Bullfrog, Bullfrog at Magnolia Circle, but I landed on a really great one in the small, small pond by Denise Fleming. It's a short one, but it's a great one. It's kind of silly and it has some amphibians and some other animals in it that we learned about or that we might be learning about. So let's see. In the small, small pond. Wiggle, jiggle, tadpoles, wriggle. Waddle, wade, geese, parade. Hover, shiver, wings, quiver. Douse, doze, eyes close. Look at my dear eyes. Those were reptiles. Lash, lunge, herons, plunge. Splitter, splatter, minnows, scatter. Those silly frogs, I'm seeing them in just about every page, causing some havoc, causing some mayhem. Circle, swirl, whirly gigs, twirl.
sweep, swoop, swallows, scoop. Click, clack, claws, crack. Dabble, dip, tails, lip. Splish, splash, paws, flash. Look at the raccoon. Pile, pack, muskrat, stack. Chill, breeze, winter, breeze. Is that bad again? That cool amphibian. Cold night, sleep tight. Small, small pond. So he is under the mud, under the pond, so he can stay warm over the winter. Because they are indeed ectothermic and they need to keep themselves warm to have energy and it's going to be really cold over the winter so they have to stay in a place that kind of stays warm yeah what a great book in the small small pond i really loved that one a lot but i think it's time to meet some amphibians to meet our special guests for tonight i have a few i might be able to find some i have a, a kind of a habitat where i have a, a couple in there and and they're really good at hiding, so we'll try to find as many as I can. But from my bigger tank, where I have some of my bigger salamanders, I was able to bring two of my bigger ones out first. So we'll start with them. I have, just like in the book yesterday, we have the red salamander and his friend that came to visit the spotted salamander. I have a spotted salamander. So that's who we're first going to say hi to tonight. Oh, he's nice and curled up. So here he is. Let's get some water. So I can spray him off a little bit. He's nice and curled up. You see his spots? Let's see if I spray him a little bit and spray off some of his mud that we had to dig him out from. Yeah. You can see his spots. Let's see if he comes out. There he is. There's the spotted salamander. Yeah. Yeah. This is a type of salamander that is native to Pennsylvania that you would find outside in Pennsylvania if you looked maybe under rotting logs or under forest leaves. This is a spotted salamander. Do you see his, his yellow spots all over him? I have a few other salamanders that have different kinds of spots too. So that's a really neat thing to see on them and help identify them. We'll be doing a lot of identifying tomorrow through our naturalist. Yeah, and these things like shapes and colors and spots help us identify animals and plants. So there is the spotted salamander. Now I'm going to stick him back real quick and I want to show you another salamander that I have that also has spots. Let's see. Stick him back here. This here. This little guy. Oh, this little guy is very fast. The to kind of hold on to him a little bit he is very very fast this no i'm not gonna let him go this guy can you see his spots if i kind of whoa! very wriggly very jiggly this guy is whoa! is a slimy salamander what a great name for what he's doing right now he is sliming away see his little white spots let's see if he sits nope still enough for me to show you whoa! there maybe i'll hold him Nope, nope, he's not gonna sit still. This is a slimy salamander. And yes, he's an amphibian because he most certainly has wet, slimy skin. And he most certainly breathes through that wet, slimy skin. Yeah, and you can see, you see his little, his little eyes on top sticking up. Yeah, eyes on top. Very cool. So I'm gonna stick him away. We'll see if we can find some of our little or salamanders. I have some other little slimies that are... Um, much smaller than him, more babies. Oh, now he's calming down, of course. Of course you are. What do you think? Oh, that's a 
good shot of all his spots. Whoop, slink. Okay, let's stick him back. See you later, slimy salamander. And my hands are all wet and slimy. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab my smaller salamander habitat that my little nature heroes set up for me. So I don't know if you can see in there. Look at that. Isn't that neat? All the moss they put in there and the leaves the different kinds of bark and things that decompose and help make their habitat. There's even some little roly polies in there that help clean it up. So let's see who we can find. Oh, I see someone right here. This little guy. Oh no, he's digging down. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, oh. okay. So maybe I'll get two at a time. Oh, and there's a little spider that crawled over too. He's going to be a fast one. The little ones are always very fast. Okay. So he took a dive. So let's see if I can break this guy out of the moss. Such good hiders they are. Here we go. Here we go. This little guy right here is, I don't see where the other one went, so we'll get him in a minute. Is another type of salamander. You see him? Yeah. He is often called a red salamander, although it's really silly because he is a special kind of red salamander that they often call a gray or a lead back salamander. So they have red salamanders with red backs, but this guy does not have the red back. So he is in fact what we call a lead back, red back salamander. He just has gray instead of red. So there he is, look at him, he's a tiny little guy, but believe it or not, look, you can maybe see his little eyes on top. Yeah. And that nice long tail. There he is. So I'm going to stick him back too, and we'll see if we can get the baby slimy out. Unless he dug down. If he dug down, there's no sense in getting him. So let's see. Let's see if I can easily. Oh, yep, here he comes. Here he comes. Nope, he's going back in. Nope, nope. He's like, no, thank you. There he is. Whoa. baby slimy. Ready? There he is. Look at the little baby slimy. See his little white spots? He looks different from the lead back. So that helps us to identify him and tell that he is different, but just as special. And just, ah! there he is. There he is. He's climbing up my arm. I'm going to kind of scoop around him gently so I can bring him back so you can see him again. There he is. The little slimy. Yay. So I'm going to put him back and my son tells me there's actually two more in here, but I don't know if we're going to find them and I don't want to disturb their habitat too, too, too much. There's that. Whoa. Oh, here's another bigger slimy, still littler than the big one I showed you. Whoa, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's coming. This may be the last one. I don't want to, oh, and he peed on me. <laughs> I usually get peed on by frogs, not often by salamanders. Here's another slimy. You see him? Yeah. So a little bit bigger, he's kind of a medium size. So we had the big one and we have the teeny one and now this guy's a medium sized one. Wonder if I can get the other uh, big one out so we can compare the size. Let's see if he'll cooperate. They're both, this is asking for a lot to have to hold both of them at the same time. Let's see. See the big one and the medium size one. Oh, oh, oh. Do you hear him squeaking? Do you hear him squeaking? He's squeaking. He's kind of making a sound that's like, I'm not so sure about this. This makes me feel nervous. So I'm going to put him back and I'm going to, oh, look, here's a little slimy. So let's see if I can show you the size difference from the medium to the little. Whoa, okay. Ready? Because I like showing differences and that's what we're going to do a lot tomorrow is explore differences so we can help identify. There you go. Look, whoa. There is the medium and the, whoa. And the tiny, tiny, tiny. He's going under my phone. There we go. Got him. Here we go. Medium and tiny. All right. Now, I'm asking a lot having these guys out for so long. So let's put them back. I'll do one more peek to see if the fourth one's around. I think it's another lead back. Yep. I don't want to do too much digging. I don't want to disturb their habitat. So they're all looking kind of Kind of safe in here. Oh, here's something very interesting I'll show you before I put this poor little guy away. So I'm noticing, I don't know if you can see it, his tail does not have the spots on it. So that tells me that at some point a predator may have bitten his tail off 
and it just started to grow back a little bit. So it does not have all the fun spots on it. So that helped to protect him. So I'm gonna put these guys away and actually before I do, I'm just gonna help keep their habitat a little wet and spray some water. And then I'm gonna close it up and give these guys some water too, although they're going back to their big wet habitat. And I think we should end by singing this song one last time. What do you think? And then we can say goodnight, salamanders. Maybe I'll bring the spotted back out while we say goodnight. Are you ready? Let's go. Amphibians have eyes on top, eyes on top, eyes on top. Amphibians have eyes on top and wet and slimy skin. Amphibians, they breathe through skin, breathe through skin, breathe through skin. Amphibians, they breathe through skin and go through metamorphosis. I'm so excited. I bet you all got that song by now too. Pretty cool, right? Metamorphosis. That was a great word that we learned. And remember that the salamanders also went through metamorphosis, but a little bit different, a smaller change, kind of an incomplete metamorphosis. Yeah. So let's see. Let's bring out our spotted one last time because he's kind of a bigger guy and hopefully he sits more still. There he is. Just have to get his face. If you've ever seen a salamander face, it's the best. It's the best. There it is. There it is. All right, everyone. Good night, salamanders, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow when we start to play the City Nature Challenge. So take a look, ask your grown-ups to help you look into iNaturalist and get ready. Get ready, because tomorrow is going to be fun. All right, y'all, have a great night. Good night.